Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Wealth Masterclass, where we teach you to make, manage, and multiply money. <clears throat> the real estate is property consisting of land and buildings on it, along with the natural resources that come with it. Whatever is in that land, crops, minerals, water, movable property, immovable property, that's what we mean by real estate. In our study today, we're starting on what we say is a panoramic view of real estate. So building multi-generational wealth through properties. And we are taking a panoramic view. By a panoramic view, we mean, have you ever seen images captured by a drone? The drone will cover kilometers, maybe one or two kilometers, but you cannot see the size of a 10P on the ground. The drone is trying to give you the whole picture. Real estate is a tangible asset that can provide long-term financial benefits. Take note of the word long-term there, not immediate gratification. Sometimes you may have to hold for years. Location is one of the most important factors in determining the value of a property. Real estate investment can provide a steady stream of passive income. In other words, you can still keep your employment or run your shop, have another business, while the real estate you own as in rental properties give you passive income. Property values can fluctuate based on economic conditions and market trends. Somebody may buy with the speculation that things will keep going up. There can be fluctuation. For example, in 2008, there was a crashing of global markets. It affected the real estate world. Number five, real estate investing requires extensive research and due diligence. Some things look great on the face value, but you need to know about the documentation. You need to ask questions about various parts before you commit your money because of the risk involved. Number six, property management is a crucial aspect of real estate investing. So if you own land, you may need to keep cutting the grass. If you own houses that have been built, you must also realize that the original sellers prepared it for you to buy. You may need to maintain in order for you to keep the value. The lesser the maintenance, the lesser the value it carries. Real estate can be a good hedge against inflation. You live in a world where things go up and up and up and it just seems like they don't come down. Like I often say, 39 years ago, when I came to the United Kingdom, a loaf of bread was 17 pence. Today, I think it is close to two pounds. So inflation keeps changing the value and price of things. But real estate is one place that helps you to hold the value of your money. If I had left that 17 pence in the bank at only one, percent interest, the chances are that the bank wouldn't do good for me. Or if I'd taken the same money to buy land, it will return to me a thousand times. The real estate market is cyclical with periods of growth and periods of decline. This is really just giving you panorama. And if I one statement can just completely change your life, you could be in the cycle where you bought and there, are no, there is no profit. Don't get to rush to sell. You may need to hold. Matter of fact, if you want to do real estate business, if you are looking for a place for quick kill, this is not a place. It may have to be in other businesses. Real estate is a place where the money you put in, you may not recover it for the next five, seven years, 10. But when the recovery comes, it will have quadrupled, tripled, whatever. So it's, it, it goes through cycles of increase, 
shrinking, increase, shrinking. Property taxes can significantly impact the profitability of real estate investments wherever you own your property. Remember, somehow governments like to tax whenever they see properties. That is why in your investment in real estate, you need the counsels of a lawyer who will be able to work with you on what is best tax structure to create around your real estate business. Number 10. Real estate investment can provide tax benefits, such as deductions for mortgage interest and property taxes. So it can be a place where you get some tax benefits, particularly in the West. When you pay mortgages, there will be deductions, there should be deductions in certain places and it should be considered that you are part of creating wealth. Number 11, real estate investment can be a good way to diversify a portfolio. What is a, an investment portfolio? An investment portfolio is where you have created many rivers and you have various sources of wealth. In other words, you have money in the bank, gaining interest. You invested in a friend's uh, restaurant, that's one. You, you probably also teach online mathematics and children pay to go to your online class. That's another river. So you have various income streams and you have various places where you have invested money. That's your portfolio. Real estate is a part of the things in your portfolio. Uh, restauranting is part of what's in your portfolio. Uh, investing in somebody else's business with the intent that they pay you interest is part of your portfolio. Real estate investing can be a good way to diversify that portfolio. Number 12, real estate can be a good investment for retirement planning. I know people all over the world who now in their retirement live comfortably off the rent from the houses they denied themselves to own, either by them building it directly or owning it through purchase until they paid off the mortgage. Now rented out, the rental value provides money in the evening of life. If you put so much money in cars, the cars will never return anything for you in your days of retirement. There are places people put money and prioritize. They can't return money. And uh, with all due respect to those who say, oh, all my jewels hold value. Ah, your gold may hold value, but it cannot continue to give you monthly income. It will just be in a store somewhere until the day you sell it. There are things you may own. Some people say my paintings hold value. You cannot draw monthly from the paintings you own, but you can draw when you own properties and rent is paid. And rent is paid as inflation also comes upon the economy and people are changing prices. You also, within legal system, can also change your rental income. So there is a guaranteed income from rent. Real estate can be a good investment for generating wealth over the longer term, over the longer term. So that what you bought for peanuts today, you are selling for much more tomorrow. Real estate investment can provide a sense of security and stability. So many things are easily washed off the economy. So many things are easily devalued. A government can be advised by the International Monetary Fund to devalue their currency. Boom, they just devalue it by 5%, by 10%. Suddenly, 
You just find your money cannot buy what it used to buy. Ah, it's, in my opinion, it's just a game the IMF plays with the mind of developing countries, always pressurizing them to devalue their currency. But you cannot devalue land. If currency is devalued, you may choose not to sell yet until the value of your own land have risen. Real estate investment requires a significant amount of capital up front. You've got to know that. That the more the capital, the more you get from real estate, and also the more the profit that comes. I told you about a vast land, 900 acres. It meant that at the time of acquiring that land, we could not own a home abroad. Everything I had from previous businesses, being a representative of 30 publishing houses in the United States of America, and far more than 30, probably 40 around the world, who were the sole importers of Christian literature into, West, into the West of Africa at a particular time. I mean, I said uh, 25, 30 years ago, just uh, our... <clears throat> Just our purchase of Bible alone in, a, in one six-month period will be $250,000. So all that money was channeled into real estate. And eventually I signed up the bookshop to the person who managed it. But you see, I created something that was significant up front. It took a lot of capital. So later I began to yield it back. Real estate investment can be leveraged with debt financing. In other words, the bank will not give you a loan because you have a master's degree. Neither will they give you a loan because you are a nice person and you have good character. They might give you peanuts of a loan, just temporary bridge loans to rescue you from a challenge. But bank <laughs> respects real estate. The more they see, the more they are ready to loan you. The more they see, the more they are ready to put in your hand because they know you have an equity. God forbid that there arose a challenge that made you to lose the money or the investment. They know Having the title deed to your land gives them peace of mind. So real estate, real estate, therefore, can be leveraged with debt finance in order you can raise the power of what you can do by debt financing. Real estate investments can be subject to market volatility and risk. Never forget that. Everything in which you invest is subjectable to market volatility. When the market is volatile, every part feels it. <clears throat> if you have a bad cough or a bad springtime, uh, uh, what's the name of this thing that happens to people during springtime and they're sneezing like crazy? When you sneeze, it, it was through your mouth or nose that you sneezed, but you felt it on your shoulder. You felt it in your belly. You felt it on your legs. In fact, your toes felt the sneeze. Same thing with economies. You cannot have an economy, uh, yeah, hay fever. You cannot have an economy where there's an impact in one area and it did not create reverberation everywhere else. It will, it's just that when the wind blows, how each one handles the wind differs from each other. A tiny uh, tree and an oak tree will handle winds differently. Real estate handles wind better, but it also is exposed to the same volatility. Real estate investing can be a good way to build equity over time. 
What is equity? Equity is value. Equity is what you have that may not just be tangible physical money, but it has value. It has value. And guess what? What you wake up every morning and wash and clean and make it to shine is not part of equity. That's a car. And it's interesting enough. That's where some people have put so much of their money. And as that one is coming to the end of its life after four years or five, they've leased again another 140,000 pounds car. And it has no equity. In third world nations like Africa, if you buy a car 2,000 pounds, after three years, you can sell it 2,500 pounds. It's a false impression of value. The reason it is false is because also that part of the world, their money tends to be easily devalued. Devalued unbelievably. That if some people know the value of the money in their pocket, they'll be shocked how much it has been devalued. How much it has been devalued. Real estate can be a good investment for generating passive income in your retirement. We mentioned this earlier. In other words, when you are retired and you have these houses and rent is coming, yeah, you are now retired, but something is working for you. So you no longer wake up in the morning and rush to work, but money is rushing to you. That's what real estate does. Real estate investment can provide a hedge against stock market volatility. Number 20, please. Stock market volatility. What do we mean by this? Stock market is more volatile than real estate. In other words, one statement from Elon Musk that is just not appropriate and the shares of Tesla will go down. Or tomorrow something happens and uh, the economy of the United Kingdom is affected. Maybe the whole parliament had a vote of no confidence in the prime minister, just that vote of no confidence. Market shares will go down because investors will hold their money and say, ah, there's uncertainty. Will the prime minister go? Will he not go? We do not know. Real estate does not know that. So yeah, go. So yeah, come, so yeah, go. The barrack remains the same. That's the story of real estate. So yeah, come, so yeah, go. The barrack remains the same. But with stock market, anything happening to a government, to a people can affect the stock market, can make it crash, can make it go down. Or let's just say, for example, the, the global pandemic we just came out of made almost every market to be crashed because they couldn't open anyway. They, I mean, they had to start from, who knows, some rock bottom, but the buildings were standing there. Matter of fact, as we're coming out of uh, the pandemic, the one place that people were finding to put their money and to quickly make some gains, and we did a lot of teaching on the Wealth Masterclass, some of you who jumped on the bandwagon when I taught intensely as we were coming out of uh, the pandemic, we find that whatever property you bought between, uh, we started with the wealth masterclass somewhere like September 2020, I think, uh, six months into the pandemic. And I began to teach intensely uh, the need for you to buy property. Those who bought just after we did the teaching, we'll find that whatever they bought must have increased by between 15% and 25%. Real estate investment require ongoing maintenance and upkeep. If you buy real estate, what makes value to increase is the continuous upkeep and the continuous maintenance. A building in Chelsea and a building in, 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 in Peckham are diametrically different in price. But guess what? The difference is in two things, location 
and upkeep. Chelsea is up market. Peckham is low market. So the price will be so highly different. But guess what? A building in Chelsea may not even attract much if it is badly kept, derelict, despite the location. But if you maintain that building, if, I, if you maintain a building in Peckham very, very well, it might just compete with a building in Chelsea. Real estate investments can be impacted by environmental factors, such as natural disasters, a bomb, a nuclear, uh, a nuclear accident, as in Chernobyl. The whole town of Chernobyl had to be abandoned. Nobody lives there, nobody goes there. The whole town was shut down because radioactive material oozed out of Chernobyl into the atmosphere around the town. The building became contaminated. The trees became contaminated. The grounds became contaminated. Radioactive material is one of the most terrible, terrible sources of not only killing humans, but actual genetic mutation. Radioactive material was in the bomb that was thrown into Hiroshima and Nagasaki in, 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 in Japan. It did not only kill people within the minutes of its dropping, it has this continuous capacity to combust and increase its own busting that it can destroy for miles and level buildings. Only one kiloton of a bomb and the whole city flattened. That should not be possible, but that's a radioactive bomb. People who were within five kilometers and looked at it, it had an effect on them. Those who breathed the air that had the, who, that had the radioactive material found that it created, it, it burnt them on the inside and gave them cancer. Those who didn't have cancer, when they gave birth, they gave birth with to children with an arm, with one, with one form of mutation or the other. If you sell Chernobyl for one dollar, nobody will buy. So environmental factors. And then in the United Kingdom, we have what is called Brownsfield. For example, if they are selling a land. And they say, we're selling this land. You can't just jump and say, oh my God, nobody saw the land I'm buying. You need to get somebody to do a survey of the land, either desktop survey or proper scientific survey. And it could show what kind of chemicals was used there. If it is hazardous to humans, the price will fall and they might not even allow you to build. Real estate investment can be impacted by changes in zoning laws and regulations. If the government decided that a part of the city in which you live can no longer be residential, it is essentially completely commercial. Or if the government says this part is purely green land or uh, where there will only be trees, it impacts your investment. Real estate can be impacted by changes in interest rates. If the interest rate is high, real estate will be affected. It will mean that there'll be not much sale and there'll be not many people taking a mortgage, buying, unless people who can understand and find value, although it's vice versa. There are times when there, if the interest rate is so low and money is awash, your profit also will be very low. Real estate investment can be impacted by changes in demographic trends. Changes in demographic trends. That basically means a very area that is so poor, dilapidated, broken down, abandoned, can suddenly become millionaire row if the kind of people who move to the place are demographically people who have financial powers. 
And so some of you who are listening to the teaching today, you need to take your mind beyond the city of London or some big city where you live and see a city where once thrived. There is now an area dilapidated, but ask yourself this question. One, is it close to the center of business and yet dilapidated? Two, is it close to the center of government and yet dilapidated? Three, is it close to some other great residential and yet dilapidated? I've just given you three conditions. Go and buy there.